Capricorn. Welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. I hope you guys are doing well. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe and thank you so much for taking the time to click on this video. Um, if you are returning, thank you for your patience. I've been a little busy with school. Just a quick announcement. Um, I know it's a little bit late, so I hope um, that you get this in time. Uh, so first I want to say thank you for the last seven years. Um, I have solely relied on this income and, uh, the income from you guys purchasing, uh, personal readings from me. And so I thank you for that. Um, but I've been given a position in the field that I have been working so hard, uh, to obtain. And so I will be, I will be beginning that soon. And because of that, I'm no longer going to be offering personal readings. I will still be on YouTube. It is Friday, October 11th at midnight Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to be taking that part of my website down. If you're interested in getting a reading before I shut that down, go ahead and purchase. You can go to my website. The price is typically $111. I've knocked it down to $88. You can also use the code YouTube to receive 15% off. And so I'll be finalizing and, and recording those client readings um, over the next couple weeks. Um, until they're all done, but I will no longer be offering personal readings after that. So I just want to say thank you and uh, let's go ahead and get into a Capricorn. Again, if you do resonate with this reading, please hit the like button and let's see what's going on. You have community with the number 39. You have main female, which could be yourself, or you're dealing with another female in your, you know, close proximity, either in your immediate family, coworker, friend, and then you have message and despair. So there's somebody here that you are connected to. Um, hmm, there could be a man involved as well, maybe somebody's like husband or partner, but there just seems to be some type of loss going on. This message is about loss, something to do with a, a living situation or the house. Very, very concerned. Okay. What is going on? You have false person, coffin, thief, and bad health, and child. Somebody, I almost, I'm going to, somebody's getting some type of really negative karma, like repayment. I don't actually think it's you. I think this is somebody connected to you, Capricorn, but it's like something is, some something big is going on. Something big is going on and somebody's going to lose a lot. And I feel like you hear about it. Hmm. Current energy around you is the Two of Pentacles in reverse. What's coming towards you is the King of Cups, or in this deck, it's called the Father of Cups. The intentions of this Father of Cups for you is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn, your mindset is the page of pentacles your challenge is the hanged man and the outcome is the six of pentacles on the bottom you have the three of swords Ooh, with the two of swords and the wheel of fortune with the seven of swords and the father of swords and the son with the lover so whatever is being done in the dark five of swords ten of wands nine of swords something is going on it's coming out and there's a lot of pain, a lot of betrayal, but then there's also like something that's just bound, binding you to this connection. And it's, it's causing you to feel stuck at one specific lesson or one specific point in your life. Like you, you're struggling with, you know what I'm saying? With letting go of something or releasing something, but it has to do with this three of swords energy too. A lot of heartache. Hmm. What is this Two of Pentacles in reverse? The world. Something just didn't, isn't going the way you thought. 
something didn't pan out the way you thought and it's every it's like everything is just upside down yeah the truth is it's like the truth is something is just not somebody wants to move away somebody wants to leave a situation there's a lot of sadness here in this two of pentacles it's like you may feel like you're out of options or you're just, you know, in this moment of despair. But I do feel like you've reached your limit here and you just kind of want to move in a different direction. Yeah, trap. Because you feel like you're trapped in this situation. You feel like this is, you feel like you're a victim. And you just want to be set free. Yeah, introvert. So you may be very silent or not communicating with this person or you're trying to isolate and separate yourself. You may be getting more quiet as certain things go on. You know what I'm saying? What's coming towards you is the King of Cups with the Two of Wands. So this King of Cups has an offer with the Four of Cups. It kind of leaves you in a state of, hmm, you're not quite sure what to do. Now the Two of Pentacles is upright. Now all of a sudden there's a new opportunity here. An, emotional, an emotionally stable opportunity, I should say. And now you really have to sit and figure out which direction do you want to go because you've got the Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. This is coming towards you. And I do feel like you're struggling with this decision because you don't want some, an opportunity to slip out of your hands. But then there's also this element of like, it's just water under the bridge. I got to let some go anyways. So very interesting. Yeah, this is, it's going to happen no matter what. This is fate. It's going to happen. Blessing. Because this is what gets you back on track. Because remember right now you're stuck. And you're blocked in this karmic cycle. Because you've got the three, two, and seven of swords, which is the five of swords. That's also the nine of swords. It's also the ten of swords. There's just a, a whole mess connected to this situation. But part of the decision-making process is, is what gives you the enlightenment and the new perception as well. Because it takes you to the next to the next level. So the intentions of all of these decisions that um, come on now, that need to be made from this person is the eight of Pentacles in reverse with the phoenix to release yourself from something that you've been stuck in wow the phoenix and judgment this is a major release and the king of pentacles that's you with the ace of pentacles okay. something went on for too long something went on for too long there's also some type of tie or connection to your foundation, either your living arrangement or it's something to do with your finances because these, these, these pentacles are stuck to a web. And I can't help but think that there was something, some type of connection financially that was keeping you stuck or tied to somebody and that's about to be released. Or like an investment that you made with somebody but you're not what you thought was holding you back isn't actually going to hold you back anymore. It's going to set you free. Memories. And stubbornness. Merit making stress. Does somebody bribe somebody into having a baby? Literally. You have temptation, bribe, and then you have an ultrasound with sweetheart. I think something went unnoticed or unheard for too long and now there's like a buildup of resentment or somebody was just choosing to be stubborn and ignore the other person's needs and desires and it's it's now blowing up because your mindset is on the page of pentacles. You're looking for something new. 
Okay, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. So looking for new opportunities, looking for new things to do, the shapeshifter. You're ready to move. You're ready to go somewhere. Strength card and the death card in this deck is the fool with the tower. So where are you going? Because it, it looks like your mindset is on this whole idea that you have about a new opportunity that could either bring in more money or it's just something that you really want to invest in. And it's a very courageous move on your part. What is this, please? But there may have been like an offer. Yeah, it's like an offer and now you're really considering it. Mm -hmm. Good news, miracle, a surprise message, something you weren't expecting, and then compromise. But it does require you to compromise in some way, shape, or form. But it requires you to come into some form of agreement. Yeah, there's been an offer here. And your mindset is, do I want to go in that direction? Your challenge is the hanged man. It's being patient. What is this? The death card. Yeah, being patient while something ends and something new begins. Karma, which is justice. Scorpio, Libra, energy. And the nine of wands with the maze. Your challenge is remaining calm and patient as things look like they're crumbling and falling apart around you. It's like maintaining your composure in a moment of anxiety. Because I do feel like karma is being paid by somebody. I feel like somebody's getting karma with this justice card. There also could be some form of legal decision that, that needs to be made here. Because you're on this journey, you're on this quest to finding your happiness, fulfillment, and stability. And I think you're finally realizing like it's not going to happen in this situation. What is this Six of Cups? The Seven of Wands. The Ace of Cups. Wow. And the Three of Swords with the Eight of Cups. Like, yeah, there's a history. Yeah, you care for this person, but this is about you pouring back into yourself. This is about you taking back your power with the Seven of Wands. And you may really need to put your foot down. You know what I'm saying? In this situation, Capricorn. Again, there could be children involved. Persevering. Collecting. Yeah, disturbance. Marionette. So someone's trying to control you. And I feel like this could also be financially. Um... This person, whoever this is, there's some type of entity too, because you have disturbance, which is a supernatural, it's like a parasite, a demon, an energy that's following someone around. And so I do feel like things are paused right now because again, you have the death card and then you have uh, justice. I feel like something is being removed. You've got to be patient as this transition takes place because energy's got to fall off of you or come from around you so you can move forward. I feel like you're trying to release yourself from a situation that has been controlling you for some time. And you're recognizing it's not getting any better. Yeah, but you're hesitant and confused about what would it mean to move forward or move in another direction? Of course, because you don't want to make the wrong decision. You're very frightened about taking this next step. Yeah, nightmare. I think, too, because you know this person is going to, like, maybe go out of their way to create some type of drama or whatever. So you're like, I don't want to deal with this. But at the same time, I also feel like you just keep walking around in circles with this person. And you've got to try to get rid of their energy somehow, some way. Yeah, you need to practice detachment. That's the first card out. Remember that you are loved and healed. The answer is no. Strong Leo energy. So a lot of strength and courage is required for you to get through this particular phase. 
success, promotions, and investments, okay? And then it says family trauma wounds are rising to the surface. You also have on the bottom, they are hiding their feelings for you. All right, Capricorn, <laughs> patience. It says you're being asked to practice patience right now. It's not easy to do this, but you are strong. And there's a reason why things aren't aligning in the way you want them to in this moment. Have patience and it will eventually work out. And then you have detach. You're being asked to detach from something that you've been holding on to. And when we hold on too tightly to the desired outcome, it restricts the flow. So trust that the outcome will work out and let go of your attachment to it. All right, Capricorn, I send you so much love. Bye.